Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. Today we begin a series of meditations designed around the archetypes from the tarot. We are taught in the Law of One that the Logos, the Creator, infused us with these archetypes as a part of our spiritual journey. The Golden Dawn, an elite secret society, found that meditating on these archetypes was incredibly powerful. The tarot, while many use it to predict the future and discern events of the future, is most powerful in understanding the archetypical nature of the Creator. These archetypes can be found in the cards such as the Magician, the Empress, the High Priestess, the Hierophant. Each of those are aspects of you like states that you are entering. And by meditating on these archetypes, it greatly enhances our magical power and unlocks aspects of our own soul for us to use on our spiritual path. We begin today's meditation focused on the magician. You see the card on the screen. This is the first card in the major arcana of the tarot. This visualization will guide you in deepening your connection to your creativity and your ability to manifest in the world. The first person that the fool encounters on his journey is the magician. The magician is the archetype of manifesting in the material world. The magician has the power to initiate the fool. Through undergoing this initiation, the fool awakens to his creativity. His creativity flourishes and with skill and determination, he is led to new opportunities that help him to flourish and prosper. By meditating on the magician archetype, you enhance your manifestation skills big time. So to begin this meditation, I want you to simply look at the image on the screen. Absorb the image of the magician before you begin this visualization. Before becoming the magician, the fool is a breeze blowing in light gusts everywhere in space. When the fool becomes the magician, the breeze becomes a whirlwind of concentrated force. When glazed, absent-minded eyes become suddenly bright and hawk-like, the magician awakens. Look at the picture on the magician card. Now begin to imagine yourself as the magician. Your right hand rises to receive a ray of warm and brilliant light. The light travels through you, influenced by your mind. Power issues from your left hand and the world is molded in the image of your thoughts. Now 
imagine yourself alone in a vast place. You cannot see the walls or the ceiling. Air stirs about you in soft, random touches. Inside your body, near the navel, a great force dwells. Your mind is clear with a golden light about your head. The light reaches down and sends out a wave of force like a great curved and shapeless arm from the center near your navel. The arm of force catches the air about you. Winds begin to blow about you in circular motion. Feel the whirling vortex of power strong about you. Below you, a light dimly shines. It brightens. Beneath you, in the light, is a great hall lined with many doors. The doors open and close at your bidding. One door attracts your attention more than the others. Let the door open. See what is beyond it. Now, seated in your preferred meditation posture, allow your eyes to close gently. And place your hands in your lap in line with your lower abdomen. Hold your hands together with the back of your right hand resting in the palm of your left hand with your thumbs gently touching. You have just a hint of a smile on your face. Now, draw in a long, deep breath through your nose. Breathing a breath all the way into your belly and as you breathe out of your mouth, Allow yourself to really sigh. Continue to breathe in your own way. Breathing to your own rhythm. Visualize yourself walking along a path. Look down and see the path as you imagine yourself walking along it. What sort of path is it? Feel the texture of what is under your feet on this path. It could be a smooth or rough path, or the sort of path you've always loved that is leading into a special place of beauty, harmony, and peace. Walking along this path, see before you now your peaceful sanctuary. It could be in a cozy, warm room. It could be some special place in nature that you love, like the beach, the forest, a lake, or some other place. This is a place that you can always come to, where you can relax and experience peace and calm. 
a place where you were always safe and protected. Enter now into your own special haven and look about you to acquaint yourself with your surroundings. Touch the things that await you here and that you love. Smell the special scents and aromas wafting through the air. Listen to the sounds that are unique to your wondrous place. See before you now a special seat that you can sink into and feel cozy and relaxed. This can be any kind of seat in which you can sit in comfort and safety. Go now to your special seat and make yourself comfortable there. Inside your peaceful sanctuary, visualize yourself now as the magician. See yourself surrounded by beautiful flowers, red roses and white lilies. Imagine yourself bending forward and inhaling the delicious fragrant perfume of the roses. Smell the fragrance as it moves through the air and fills the air with wondrous delight. Look down at your clothes, at the clothes of the magician. You could be wearing a white robe, a red cloak, and a blue belt around your waist symbolizing a snake that represents your creative powers. You could be dressed in some other way that is right for you as the magician. Hold an image of how you would be dressed. Imagine now running your hands over the textures of the fabric you are wearing. What do these textures feel under your hands and fingers? Now imagine a table, and on it, a golden cup, a wand, a pantacle that has the five-pointed star embossed on a round disc, and a sword that symbolizes power, strength, and courage. Within these four objects, there is a totality of the four elements, water, fire, earth, and air. Now, visualize yourself moving to the table, picking up the golden cup and drinking the pure liquid from the cup. Visualize the sweet taste of this golden nectar, filling your whole being with magical powers that unfold your creativity and abilities to manifest in the world. Now placing the cup back on the table, feel in your right hand, feel a wand raised toward heaven, while your left hand is pointing to the earth. As the archetype of the magician, feel the strength and power that flows through your whole being as you connect with heaven and earth.
visualize yourself as the master of your life and destiny. Now, take in a long, slow, deep breath through your nose as you absorb the magician's qualities. And as you slowly breathe out through your nose, deepen into the silence and stillness within you that is the way of the magician. Continue to breathe naturally, being aware once again of the inward breath and the outward breath, merging you into deeper silence and stillness. Imagine now above your head the sign of eternity, the figure eight that symbolizes that you are of spirit and also able to bring about things in the world. Being at one with the magician now is the time to incorporate the lesson of as above so below. The lesson being that mastery in one aspect of life brings about mastery in another. Feeling the qualities of the magician enveloping you and within you. Visualize now being surrounded by golden, bright light, representing solar consciousness that allows you to explore the world and to master it. What in your life do you want to master right now? What do you need to bring forward to master your goal, aspiration, or ambition? Within your own silence and stillness, answers may come to you intuitively and spontaneously. If not immediately, that is okay, for you will discover these answers as you go about your daily life by your intention to manifest for your highest good what you most desire.
The magician is the archetypal achiever. As you reflect on what you want to achieve, use your ability to be flexible, to communicate your ideas, for you have the skills. But also, listen to your inner voice. When the magician appears within you, it symbolizes your creativity, action, initiative, and self-assertiveness. You can create new opportunities that give you courage, driving power, skill, and determination to enable these to flourish and blossom. With the powers of the magician, how would you like your creativity and originality to expand? Imbued in the archetype of the magician, there is great power. Now take in a deep breath, breathing power and strength into your body. And as you breathe out, breathe your empowerment through every cell in your body. And when you've done this, continue to breathe naturally once again. Power can always be used for good or bad. Misuse of power abounds on our planet. Whether you are male or female, you carry with you certain aspects of power. What does power mean to you? How does it appear in your life? How wisely do you use your power? With the power of the magician within you, you are urged to bring all aspects of your life together. These include love, emotions, money, and morality. If one or some of these are out of balance, just allow these aspects of your life to be acknowledged and to intend that your deeper inner knowing can bring about the changes that will help you manifest your great potential. Embracing the archetype of the magician, you are open to opportunities or the importance of a new enterprise, and you will have the willpower, the initiative, and the skills to succeed in whatever you do. Now, take in a long, slow, deep breath. And as you do, embrace the qualities of the magician in yourself. And breathing out, know that in drawing this tarot card, you have the ability to manifest your creativity and potential. Continue to breathe naturally. And now visualize the clothing of the magician fading away. Leaving your sanctuary, step now back onto the path, knowing that you can return to this safe and peaceful place anytime that you wish. into the day imbued with the power of the magician you have now entered into the magician state how will you use your power welcome to the reality revolution